what's up guys I'm back with another review and uh, today we're gonna be talking about some of the well actually not some just one of the machines from electric shark tattoo and uh, this one specifically is called the silkworm now let me adjust my camera here real quick Okay, let me see if I can focus in on that, yeah. So this, this is called the silkworm. Alright, now, I did do some testing with this machine. And I did actually tattoo with it. This is a very, very interesting machine because first and foremost, this machine runs on an audio interface and literally runs through an application that you purchase through either the App Store for iOS or the Google Play Store for every Android device. The application is called Inkweasel and I will pretty much show you guys how the application itself works it's not so difficult but then again these machines are not at all meant for tattooers out there that don't really know how to work with coil machines don't really know how to adjust Hertz correctly or the power correctly which can be considered uh, maybe duty cycle, not necessarily 100% sure if power is duty cycle or so forth. Um, but within this app, it has a bunch of different settings that can be used. And uh, the settings are very interesting and they can be fully adjusted. You can set it to run whichever way you want it to run. And the other thing that's really interesting about this machine is that it can run cartridges and it could run standard tubes and needles. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to plug it in here and I'm going to plug up this disposable cartridge tube that I have that I can show you guys how this machine runs with cartridges because I know a lot of people now within the industry are transferring over to working with cartridge needles for hygiene purposes a lot of artists are straying away from using standard tubes and needles I guess it is also a lot of it is uh, oops I dropped that Okay, well, looks like I'll have to get another one, which is fine. Do that in a second here. But yeah, let me put some gloves on. So I can really handle this machine, even though We all know that back in the days, we used to just handle our machines, set them up, and then put our gloves on. But nowadays, for cross-contamination purposes and coronavirus purposes, we should all be wearing gloves when handling any type of tattooing equipment simply because you know you never know so as I set this up here usually you need a, like at least one rubber band on here 
and then you could get it going and with cartridges it's very quiet and it takes quite a bit of adjusting and you not only have the ability to uh, kind of adjust the frequency to the machine through this uh, audio power unit here which literally this is an amplifier which can be turned off and turned on so it's suggested to run these machines if you're going to be running these machines under an audio frequency which they do s the guy that the owner uh, his name is Richard, Richard DeTore. Uh They do make a power unit that enables you to run these machines through AC signal and through DC signal. Unfortunately, I only have one that runs through AC signal, so I will only be able to show you guys what these machines are capable of doing in audio mode, which pretty much it's running through an audio signal, which is causing... Uh, the machine to turn on and off kind of you know almost like a relay but it's recommended to kind of start your power somewhere once you kind of hear it running like that then you want to step over and start adjusting the let me get this thing right first before I get all these wires discombobulated. So once you get that part right, then I'm going to come over here and get my iPad so I can show you guys. So actually what you're seeing right now is the app that I use to record all these videos with it's called filmic pro and yeah I'm seeing myself so let me jump into the app itself right here okay so I want you I want to set my camera up so it it's showing the app perfectly so give me a second while I do that hold on you guys okay okay all right let me bring this closer okay so before I get into that, I'm going to jump into my remote real quick. And I need to All right. Everything is good over here. All right, cool. As long as it's still recording. <laughs> okay. Let's jump into this now. All right, so literally this is the application that is specifically designed for these machines. This application is called Inkweasel, as you can see right there. Okay. And literally right now I'm in this frequency this is the sharp tooth hammer actually this is the hammerhead then the J is for the jaws then the this one is another hammerhead then uh, the ST is shark tooth and then you have another shark tooth so you have two hammerheads two one jaws and two shark tooths so by switching over you pretty much are switching the frequency of how the machine is running up here you have a timer that will be running continuously you can turn on 
the app, that once you turn it off, you can't run the machine anymore. It's not going to be sending an audio signal to the amplifier. Once you turn it back on, the audio signal is being sent to the amp. And one thing you want to make sure is that your volume is always all the way up. So the app itself is sending full audio frequency power over into the amplifier itself. Once you have your amp set up at a dialed in kind of, I'd say at like a five, something like that, four or five is usually perfect. Then you can start adjusting the frequency itself through the Hertz or what this is called is pretty much volume. So in order to make this machine run a little more powerful we can adjust the power and this is adjusting the Hertz here and as you can see the speed is going up to 98 Hertz. Let me just make sure that this is filming correctly so you guys can see everything hopefully. Let me bring this a little bit closer. Okay. All right. So this here is what the designer of this entire mechanism, this application calls volume, but this is more or less power. As you can see, oops, sorry about that. <laughs> kind of got the, the iPad here at a strange angle because I, I don't really have three cameras here to do all this and I'd rather have this main setup here focused on that. So as you see, as the power goes up more or lower, it adjusts how the machine performs with cartridges and this thing's pretty powerful let me let me break out a piece of synthetic skin here and I can I can show you guys the type of power that we're talking about So, I have this hand here. And it's it's pushing. Of course, if you need more power, you can bump your hertz up and boy she's purring you might want to you know go up higher in the hertz you might want to go up go down in the actual power here So yeah, and then throughout all these different frequency readings, let's say for example this one just went back to where it was preset at. So what I can do is readjust it to the speed that I want, readjust it to the power that I want, which this here is called volume, but it's actually more or less adjusting the hit and the power. Once you're at a place where you feel comfortable that you want to be tattooing at, you can hold down and you can save it and that'll be saved. Whenever you head back on over, it'll be saved. Now, 
these frequencies here, for example, the hammerhead, it runs quite a bit different. So you can adjust its power, adjust the speed a little bit, and it's got more of a stronger hit itself. Now one thing I like about this machine is that it runs really nice with standard tubes and needles. And I'm going to switch over and show you guys that. It runs great with cartridges. Now if you're going to be using it to run with cartridges, you're definitely going to want to play around with your hertz, the different frequencies as well as your power which is your volume also within this application you could switch between modes AC and DC but in order for the application to run in DC mode you need to have a power supply amplifier unit that runs both AC and DC which Electric Shark does sell I will be getting one of those soon to show you guys its capabilities. Now before I switch the camera over to me and show you guys how this machine runs with standard tubes and needles, I just want to show you guys the rest of this application. So pretty much you have different frequency modes, you have the shark tooth, another shark tooth you have a hammerhead you have a jaws and another hammerhead here and within all of these frequencies for example I go to the shark tooth and I want to adjust Hertz oops or I want to adjust power I can do all of that throughout every single frequency now if I don't want to touch my system here. The application itself recognizes your voice and it recognizes audio. It's something that will be implemented within this application feature soon. Uh, you can go onto Electric Sharks Instagram and you could literally see how the how it functions literally you'll be able to talk to the application and tell it for example you want it to change Hertz you'll say electric shark change Hertz to 95 or electric shark change volume to 57 percent or ink weasel go to hammerhead or however all of these audio interface sayings there'll be a full list of what it can understand and it'll be as easy as that to switch within it now it's supposed to be working right now but I can't seem to get it to work through my iPad maybe if I touch this microphone here it'll work so let me see there you go okay so now Inkweasel will like to access the microphone and once you click OK now you have the ability to talk to it so for example Inkweasel hammerhead okay didn't work let's try another phrase electric shark hammerhead or maybe I have to tap the mic again okay electric shark Hmm. I'm going to try to get it to work here for you guys because Richard told me that it works and it's supposed to work. Volume, 57%. Volume, 67%. Ink weasel. Okay, for some reason it does not work through the iPad, but it does work. So there's a little bit, there's some bugs. Let me try to get it to work one more time. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, uh, electric shark tattoo, 90 hertz. 
Okay, maybe not. Hmm. All right, well, it doesn't seem like I can get it to fully function right now, but this is a function that it that I've actually seen this function working. So, let's continue. Throughout every different frequency, you can adjust and save. Okay, now this is saved. So, whatever that was at, the shark tooth will now be saved wherever it was. So if you adjust again and tap, it goes back to the saving as soon as you just hold down and you could save that exact setting to whichever frequency line you want. Once you find a good frequency for the machine to run at. And this is all about really, you know, playing with how you want your machine to feel. So let me set this machine up with the standard tube and needle now. I'm gonna have to get a uh, needle because this one, this one fell on the floor. And this tube is going on the garbage now. switch over so I can see what I'm doing all right cool Of course, uh, this tube I only use for test purposes. I want to throw a liner in here. Very important with these machines is that you bend your needle bar slightly, kind of like that. machine with standard tubes and needles instead of a grommet very highly recommend you just take a paper towel square kind of double it up and set your set your needle needle bar on that because it gives it a lot stronger of a hit. And sometimes using a grommet or a nipple on your armature bar, the hit is just not, it's not gonna be there. All you coil, coil guys out there, loyal to the coil, you all know that using paper towels is definitely the way to go. So when you're working with standard tubes and needles with this specific machine, the silkworm, you're definitely going to want to use two rubber bands. And bending your needles is very important. And of course the frequencies need to be fully adjusted when you're working 
between standard needles and tubes or if you're working with cartridges and some, sometimes it does happen that the application can disconnect so let me turn it off back on one second guys bluetooth disconnected what you guys are actually hearing right now is the audio frequency so let me reconnect okay now we're back at the amp all right okay so it not it runs really nice when you have good solid connection with uh, the RCA it's one thing that I told Richard recently that's the only con I can really tell him about this machine is the the RCA back here it's kind of loose so I think I need to pull out my other RCA cord because it has tighter prongs he needs to change these RCA back there because that female RCA right there is it's not it's not wide enough for all the RCA cords that we use and I feel like all these RCA cords that I have are not giving me a secure connection so what happened right there was where you guys saw the machine stop working it was actually <laughs> the RCA connection uh, the RCA cord popped off so this one I've actually went ahead and tightened and it actually stays nice and tight but it also see that how it pops off that's the only con that's a con and I'm going to tell Richard, Richard, it's a con. You need to change these RCA jacks because they are they are annoying. You know, I should not have to do this what I am doing right here in order to get my machine to run. And now it runs perfect. And as you guys can see, there's such a wide range of capabilities when using this silkworm machine. It's just, it, it blows my mind. And there you go, save. I can actually leave this like this and have you guys just watch, okay? So I have it on the shark tooth running at 78 hertz with a 56% uh, possibly that might be duty cycle or volume. I'm not exactly 100% sure yet. I'll have to have Richard comment on the video for all you guys and tell you guys if that's actually duty cycle or that's power or what he calls volume, which is fine. So switching in between these two different shark tooths here, this one is running at 90 hertz, which is a lot faster. And this one's running at 88 hertz, and that's a hammerhead at 50% volume and it's giving a hell of a lot more power. This one's at 80 hertz, and this one's at 98 hertz. 
super speed right there. So, how powerful is this baby? Yeah. Like literally, I can use probably a 47 mag with this and smash some color in. That's how powerful this machine is. But when you are running this machine with cartridges, the entire game changes. It turns into a softer running machine where you basically want to run it with smaller cartridge groupings, three rounds, singles, five rounds, um, small shaders, five sevens, nines, and uh, I wouldn't say anything larger than, I don't know, an 11 mag, just simply because it becomes more of a softer toned machine for black and gray and softer blends and maybe softer color layering but when you start using standard tubes and needles with these this thing becomes a monster I tested this with standards and I was able to push an 18 round shader to line with without a problem um, I used a 27 mag without any issues shading solid color had no problems at all whatsoever so if you guys are interested in this machine called the silkworm I will have the entire description below where you guys can buy the machine Electric Shark's Instagram information and the website to where you guys can check all of the stuff out and go from there. Um, what I can tell you is that I very highly recommend these machines to advanced artists, artists that have more than five years experience, artists that come from a coil machine background if you learned how to tattoo with rotary machines and uh, you're not really familiar on how to tune coil machines this machine is not for you literally you're going to have to learn about coil machines learn about Hertz learn about duty cycle and stuff like that learn about uh, proper spring tension and uh, just in general stuff that uh, we as uh, tattooers that come from the 90s generation because I started tattooing in 1994 95 you know we had coil machines you know there's there was plenty of rotaries back then but all the rotaries were not really anything major like they are now so it was a completely different ball game. But I respect, you know, everything that Electric Shark Tattoo has done here. And I really have enjoyed working with this machine. This, this machine is an amazing piece of technology. For you guys out there that appreciate machines that are made by Dan Cuban, Seth Safari, um... Aaron Kane these things are a piece of art it's not just a machine the beauty of it it's just a beautiful machine this is all completely handcrafted there's nothing on this machine that is uh, you know uh, made in a factory on an assembly line uh, these aren't made in a CNC machine you know everything on here is made by hand or on a lathe and you gotta respect handmade machines because there's not you know with all these new rotor machines and all the new technology coming out in the industry now 
a lot of that classic handmade machinery that we had back in the days is kind of starting to fall behind and when you do get something in your hand like this it tends to be something that feels great you can feel the craftsmanship in it you can feel the quality of it you know you can feel that somebody spent hours upon hours working on this and designing this and for that Richard you know I give you I give you the utmost respect for making something like this something like this that has you know a full-blown amount of originality and this is probably uh, one of my favorite machines in a long time that is not a coil machine but kinda can be you know it's a very versatile machine it has a lot that you can do with it and I very highly recommend it for you guys that are more advanced in tattooing and for you guys that use coil machines and want to step your game up to something that will give you the, will give you the ability to have all different types of adjustment it's just unbelievable the amount of adjustment that this piece of machinery can do it's amazing for tattooing and it's amazing for the tattoo industry and I'll be reviewing another one very soon I'm just you know this one is a cartridge dedicated machine and this one is called the inner coil look at the craftsmanship on this this is a full aluminum frame this is specifically designed for cartridge machines and it's actually very quiet also needs a better RCA jack as soon as these jacks gets get get changed and and they can you know stick to all these RCA cords well that that's my only gripe with these machines is that the RCA jack it doesn't it doesn't fit on these RCA cords very very good you know it's it, it that's the only thing that's the only con I have and that's it and I could probably change these myself but I'm gonna let Richard you know hopefully he can find one that will you know fit better with RCA cords now I know that there's RCA cords out there that are much tighter uh, on the prongs than mine are but I tend to use a lot of these light super lightweight cords that I have and you know this here is a completely new one and it just it doesn't doesn't stick on there it's too loose but other than that you know the silkworm right now is my favorite I'd say audio machine yeah audio machine cool yeah this thing's uh it's an interesting piece of equipment all right and my rambling shall end now <laughs> You guys have a great night. I don't know what time it is where you are. Uh, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.